What's up, Cal Gang? All right, so we're back with the statics problem here. So in this problem, we're trying to find the normal force, the shear force, and the moment at point C. So point C is in the center of this rod, so that means we're gonna have to take a cut, and we're gonna do all that kind of stuff. So first of all, let's go ahead and draw our force body diagram. So I went ahead and got that started here. So uh, this is just from the image, right? Each one is 1.5 meters long, and then there's this 10 kilonewton force, and this 15 kilonewton force. So then we have that B is a roller. So if B is a roller, that means it only acts and it has a force only in the y direction. So it's gonna be B of y pointing up like that. Okay, cool, and then, so what else do we have? So we have A, so A is a pin. So A has a force in the x and the y direction. So this is A of y, this is A of x. So there you go, so that's what our force looks like. So we can assume that A of x is gonna be zero, basically just because um, there's no horizontal forces. If you were to do sum of forces in the x direction, it would just be a of x, and it's equal to zero. So that proves that a of x is equal to zero. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a cut down C like this, and then we're gonna take just one part. So I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose this side. You could definitely choose this side too. Uh, ultimately, it wouldn't make much of a difference, but let's just go ahead and let's do this side. So if we're to take the cut here, our new force body diagram is just gonna be from C on, or C to the right. So this is C. And it goes over here to B. And each one of these is 1.5 meters. So we said that we have B of Y pointing upward. We know that we have this 15 kilonewton force pointing downward. And then at C, well, we're gonna have a couple things. So at C, we're gonna have the shear force. So because we took the cut on the right side, our shear force is gonna be pointing upward. So this is V of C. B is the shear force. We're gonna have our normal force at C, which points outward. And then we're gonna have our moment at C. So our moment around C, the moment always is gonna point upward. So if we take the cut of the right side, then the moment is gonna to wanna to point upward like this, which is clockwise. So this is the moment at C. So now we can do all this, but one thing we don't have yet is B of Y. So B of Y is something that we can find, but and we're gonna need it because if we're taking the sum of the forces, we're gonna need it. So let's go ahead and let's find B of Y. So to find B of Y, we're gonna to need to go back to our original force body diagram. So if we wanna find B of Y, we wanna basically eliminate the unknowns that we don't have. So we're gonna have these th two unknowns, basically, the A of Y and the B of Y. So if we take moment around A, it's gonna get rid of A of Y, and then we're just gonna be left with B of Y, and that's gonna help us find B of Y. So that's why we're gonna take moment around A. So we're gonna take some of the moments around A, we know that the sum of the moments is equal to zero because we're in equilibrium. And so let's go ahead and count it up. So this first one is 10 kilonewtons and it's pointing clockwise. So it's gonna be uh, negative 10 and then 1.5 is its distance. And then we go to this 15 kilonewtons, also making it go clockwise. So it's also gonna be subtracted, negative 15. And then its distance is 4.5, right? 1.5, 4.5. So then B of Y is making it go counterclockwise. So we're gonna be adding B of Y times its distance away, which is six meters. So all you have to do now is move B of Y over and then divide this by six, and you're gonna find that B of Y is equal to 13.75 kilonewtons. So that's gonna be very useful. So now we can go back to our uh, new force body diagram that we made here, and just do some uh, stuff to find the shear and everything. So let's go ahead and do that, right? So we're finding shear first, so let's find shear force. So if we wanna do that, we're gonna take some of the forces in the Y direction. We know it's gonna be equal to zero, we're at equilibrium. So let's do it, so we have V of C is pointing upward, and then we also have V of Y pointing upward. And then we also have this 15 kilonewton force pointing downward, negative 15. So let me pull up a chair. So then of course if you move V of C over, you're gonna get V of C, and then there's gonna be a negative sign now, so it's gonna be 15 minus V of Y. So we just said V of Y is 13.75. And then you're gonna get that V of C is equal to 1.25 kilonewtons, pointing upward. Nice. So that's pretty simple. Let's do, uh, let's do the normal force. So some of the forces in the X direction is equal to zero, because we're at equilibrium. And then the only thing acting in the X direction is the normal force here. So we basically just found that the normal force at C is equal to zero. Nice. So then of course you want to take the moments 
at C, so we're going to do sum of the moments at C is equal to zero because we're at equilibrium, so we know that the sum of the moments are going to be equal to zero. And it's going to be equal to, so we have this moment C, so it's going to be negative because it's going clockwise, so negative moment of C. We have this 15 kilonewton force that's making it go counterclockwise, right? It's going to rotate, or it's going to rotate clockwise like this. So we're going to subtract 15 times its distance, 1.5. And then we have B of Y, which is pointing upwards. So this is going to be clockwise. It's going to be a positive number. So plus B of Y times this distance, which is 3. So then if we move MC over, we're going to get moment around C is equal to negative 15 times 1.5 plus, and then of course B of Y we just found is 13.75 times 3, and then you're going to get moment of C is equal to 18.75 kilonewton meters. And there you go. So that's how you solve this question. So this is just um, about picking the right point and knowing how to find the moments, and that's pretty much it. So it's kind of one of the easier questions we've done. So if you have any trouble with this, feel free to stick around. I'm going to have a lot more problems like this. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.